Hi, I'm Jono and I do pencil drawings, but I've also been doing some other things. Recently, I built a installation for a show and it didn't really work out the way that I wanted it to. So what I'm going to talk about today isn't 100% about drawing, it's more about creating things in general, but I thought it was kind of applicable across the board. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, but I'll tell you more about them later. So I was working on an installation last year that took a really, really long time for me to make it kind of come into being. It meant a huge amount to me. It was one of the first physical interactive artworks that I have done. So it really stretched my creative boundaries and, and felt like it opened up a bunch of doors. There's a space in my studio that's a little bit separate from the rest of the space. And I've been wanting to use that as an exhibition space, the space where I can experiment with different installations or sculptures or hanging works together to see how they might work or how they might speak to each other. And this artwork had been front stage and center in this room. The idea is to, to hide very, very small pinhole cameras that are very hard to find and very hard to see. Within the cracks of the masks, there's going to be about 16 or 24 of these cameras fed through a, a massive cabling system into a CCTV screen, which the viewer will then be able to step into and see themselves being watched from multiple angles. That installation ended up being really interesting just in terms of like process-based work. The way that it fell together, I wanted the, the cables to like be this mess of cables. And then when they installed it, it was a mess of cables and it looked awful. It looked really, really bad. So then to try and like straighten it up and have tubing for it and then turning that into copper tubing to reference like a circuit board. I really enjoyed how that process like came together for that. And what's interesting is that I thought that it was a really powerful piece because I had spent so much time working on it and planning for it and worked with so many different people trying to bring it into life and I think my passion for it spilled into it and those people adopted that passion and so we all thought that this was a really cool idea. The thing that happens, like the mechanism that I kind of want to highlight in this video is when we spend a huge amount of time on something or when we invest very heavily into something, we imbue it with value. We automatically think that it's super valuable because it took a very long time. When that isn't the case, and we can spend a lot of time laboring over something, but can just be an exercise in futility of trying to bring something that isn't that great into being. And so I made the tough call a little while ago to just dismantle it after spending so much time having help from so many different people. It was really incredible to go through the process of creating this piece and trying to problem solve small things and it took such a long time for us to put that installation up and to take it down took just a few hours, which is also quite, quite ridiculous. There was a sense of loss, a sense of I'd made a mistake or I'd wasted resources and time which is always difficult. I especially really want to try and be efficient with almost everything I do. And just surviving as an artist is a pretty difficult pursuit a lot of the time. So we have to stay pretty focused on being efficient with, with our finances and everything, not to go into that whole side of things, but it just means that that failure hits particularly hard with something not working out. But it's so important to have grace for that and to have room for something new might come from dismantling something that was old and established. And just because it took a lot of energy to, to build that up and because I believed in it when I was doing it, doesn't mean that it carries that legacy or that legacy is still true. If I want to try and reason that the whole process was extremely valuable, that's really easy to do. The artwork spurred on the creation of a bunch of different works or a bunch of different themes. So the cracks in the plaster was really inspiring and it's something that I've been incorporating into my work since. The rods going through the masks and that, that kind of misconnection is the thing that inspired the artwork fracture, which is one of the pieces I'm most proud of at the moment. And so there's a huge amount of value in that, but being in touch with that artwork and letting it occupy wall space and mental space being the first artwork that I see as I enter my studio, it left an impression and I needed to clean it up and dismantle it and allow something new to take its place. The whole story of how it came to be was something that I was proud of and realizing that the piece just wasn't that strong and that that's okay, I think, is really important. And almost as soon as I let go of that piece, and now I was left with a bunch of scrap material left over from this installation, the cogs almost immediately started turning and it was surprising how quickly the new ideas started taking shape. Something a lot simpler and a lot more refined, something that I'm 
extremely excited about seeing how it comes to life and whether it works or not. There's a chance that this idea also doesn't really work, but that's also not the point. I'm just really excited to see whether it looks good or not. And if it doesn't, then I will remove it and find something new. But it's that continuous process of reiteration and building upon the things that you've already made. And I suppose not being afraid to tear them down and change them into something new. Before in this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Squarespace. I've been working with them for a couple of years now and they've played a huge role in my career, not only in sponsoring these videos and helping me maintain this channel, but more importantly, early on in my career, I was looking for a way to showcase my work and make it easy for clients to find me and get in touch with me. And I didn't have time to learn HTML and to build a reliable, functional website where everything just kind of works seamlessly. And I felt that Squarespace did that effortlessly. I never had to patch or upgrade anything. I could register a new domain and set up an online store. And most importantly, I could design a portfolio and show my work the way that I wanted to. Also, every time I got stuck, their amazing support team helped me out instantly. So if you're looking at building a website, give Squarespace a try. And if you decide that you love them, use this offer code and get 10% off your first purchase. I hope you found this video interesting or useful. I'm feeling so inspired after getting over the sadness of dismantling uh, an artwork. But I'm really excited about the new prospects of what can come from, from that dismantling. If you found this useful, leave a like. It helps the channel out in a huge way. As always, thanks for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.